A good sharp mandolin slices food beautifully and super fast. But which one's the best and the safest? We bought eight priced from about $25 to about $200, and we put them to the test. We sliced foods of lots of different textures, including tomatoes, potatoes, fennel, beets, and eggplant. And we used them to julienne celeriac, carrots, and daikon into thin strips. Straight out of the box, some mandolins were easier to use than others. They were intuitive to set up and use. They had accurate, clearly marked measurement settings, whether that was in inches, millimeters, or both. All the mandolins came with straight blades for slicing, and that's the type of cut we use a mandolin for most often. Our top priority was being able to slice in different thicknesses. We wanted to slice everything from paper-thin shavings of fennel to thick slabs of eggplant. But only a few of the models could actually do this. Our top two mandolins can slice from about half a millimeter thin to 7.5 or 9.5 millimeters thick. Now, extra blades for other cuts were less essential, but they were nice to have. Most of them came with blades for making julienne, and this is useful for salads and slaw, or even making vegetable noodles. If they could slice thickly enough, it's also a great way to make french fries. Now, if a mandolin couldn't make crinkle or waffle cuts, that wasn't a deal breaker, but it was kind of a nice bonus. And we did use it to make chips and fries. So now for the bad news. Very few of these mandolins could cut every food easily. They got stuck, and you usually cannot remove these blades for sharpening. So if the blade isn't sharp from the get-go, it's never going to be. A few had dull blades that choked on fiber celeriac and dense carrots. Food just rammed into the blades and stopped. Picking it out was scary. The style of the blade also mattered. We found we preferred mandolins with single blades rather than V-shaped blades because single blades have less surface to create friction that slows food down. So single blades made it easier to slice. Next most important was the rigidity of the platform. And when you're sliding food over a saggy, bendy platform, the food slices unevenly. The best models had platforms and blades that were well braced underneath, so they stayed perfectly still when food passed over. And that meant we got nice, even slices. Now let's talk about safety. The combination of blades and moving food, definitely risky. But any mandolin can be used safely as long as its blade is sharp, making the slicing more smooth and easy, and as long as you work slowly and carefully. Most of the mandolins came with some additional safety features to help minimize risk, but some were more effective than others. We really liked models that came with kickstands on either end, and that just helped us keep the mandolins at a fixed, comfortable angle for slicing. They kept them stable while we worked. We especially liked mandolins that were trimmed with rubbery material, and that helped anchor them to the counter. All of the mandolins came with a hand guard to hold and push the food. Unfortunately, most of these were next to useless. Simple little rectangular shields had prongs that were too short, so food just kept falling off. Or they had prongs that were long enough to hold the food until it had been sliced down far enough that the blade started hitting those prongs. Then we had to stop and throw the rest of the food away. That meant waste. Here's what we do. Always use a good cut-resistant glove to help protect your hands. Now we did appreciate two mandolins that actually had effective guards. And with these, you place the food on the platform and you press down on it with a spring-loaded guard. As you swipe the food over the blade, you progressively push down more on the guard and keep that pressure on the food. Your hands stay safe and your food gets cut with no waste. The only downside to this is that it's tiring to keep up that tension on the pusher for long periods, like if you're slicing two pounds of potatoes for gratin. A size is important. Food has to fit on the platform to be cut properly. One that has the skinniest platform meant that we had to cut almost every single food into smaller chunks. And that's not good when you really want like presentation perfect slices of beets or long ribbons of carrot. We preferred mandolins with platforms that were wide enough to fit large produce like eggplant while being also fairly compact overall so they were easier to clean and store. Platforms of about three and a half to four inches wide were the best. Finally, bigger, bulkier mandolins sometimes sat more securely on the counter due to their heavier weight, but they were more cumbersome and they took up more storage space. In the end, we had a few favorites, each with different advantages. Our top performer overall was the Super Ben Reiner Mandolin Slicer, and this had the sharpest blade by far, and it sliced through even the toughest foods like butter. It sliced evenly and consistently, and three julienne blades give you some versatility. Best of all, it slices in an incredibly wide range of thicknesses. There's a dial that lets you adjust the platform to the precise thickness you want. 
It's also simple and fairly compact, easy to set up, clean, and store. And finally, it's about half the price of our other winner. Our only quibble, its hand guard is pretty inadequate, so we recommend getting a cut-resistant glove too. We also love the OXO Chef's Mandolin Slicer 2.0. This was the easiest to use of them all. It's heavier and has a grippy kickstand, so it sat very securely on the counter, and it had one of the best hand guards. It sliced foods evenly and in lots of thicknesses. It's got a clearly marked, accurate dial that made it exceptionally easy to set just how thin or thick we wanted our food to be. The trouble is, it's just not quite as sharp as the Ben Reiner, so it's sometimes choked on fibrous foods, and it can only do julienne in two preset widths and thicknesses. It's also more expensive and bulkier to store. Now finally, for those who want to dip a toe into the world of mandolins without investing too much, the inexpensive Kyocera Soft Grip Adjustable Mandolin Ceramic Slicer is a great option. It can only do thin slices, no julienne, and it's really too small for very large produce like eggplants but its size and simplicity makes it super easy to use, clean, and store.